Hi, this is Derek Jordan. Welcome to the World Fusion Show, where we bring you the leading innovators in world fusion music. Today, my guest is Joel Vina, who is an Indian slide guitarist and composer. Welcome, Joel, to the World Fusion Show. Thanks so much for having me, Derek. Really happy to be here. I'm so glad that you could join us today. Yeah. So you started off in music. You had a musical household, you told me. That's Your dad right. plays piano. That's and right. what got you uh, interested in doing music? Uh, yeah, mostly it was being surrounded with music from my childhood. It wasn't a question uh, so much if I would get into music, but when and <laughs> and what instrument? Yeah, yeah. So once I made up my mind to to start playing guitar, then uh, I received a lot of encouragement. Yeah. From that point on, yeah. that's terrific. So you said you were really inspired by Bob Marley early on. That's right. Yeah, Bob Marley actually uh, was the first music that I ever heard. Mm. My my dad uh, produces music in Jamaica, and so I, some of my earliest musical memories are listening to Bob Marley uh, LPs and cassettes. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. It just forms my. That's my foundation. As as funny as it may seem. Well, there it is. Yeah. Um, and you also play in a reggae band, right? That's play right. With a guitar in that. Yeah, and actually, Me, probably, right? I'm playing um, nowadays. I'm playing bass okay. in um, in a group called the Thunderballs, yeah. featuring NL Dennis, yeah. which is uh, he's a Jamaican guy. He's a Jamaican yeah. singer songwriter, right. um, longtime friend of my family that my dad has worked with, and. Uh, finally got his visa so now we're doing some touring in excellent the, in the u.s yeah excellent so what got you interested in indian slide guitar well uh indian slide guitar uh, i basically i fell in love with this instrument i encountered a cd of it while i was uh on a study abroad trip in delhi mm -hmm. uh, while i was attending university of california in santa cruz mm. and i i saw a cd in a shop window mm. basically and uh this artist, Vishwa Mohan Bhatt, is sitting there with the instrument, the 20 string, beautiful Indian slide guitar. And I'm a guitarist at that yeah. point. And like any guitar player, I would be like, hey, what's that? Uh, picked it up, listened to it on the, the portable CD player, and uh, was just uh, one of these epiphany type of moments. Mm. Really captured uh, my attention and my passion. I listened to that CD over and over again all night and resolved that I have to learn how to play this that's how we instrument. do it we yeah. get into it listen to the stuff many times and absorb exactly the, feeling, the flavor the vibe of the music exactly even though i had no idea really what i was listening to like musically right. I, I was thinking i'm coming from rock and bob marley sure. i'm thinking what American is pop happening music and, yeah. yeah but something was there enough to to grab me right right so um i would love to go to the first video Great. which actually shows your influence by Bob of Bob Marley because oh, yeah. you're doing a solo piece uh, version uh, of his song Redemption Song. That's right. Let's let's go to that right now. Great.
very nice, very nice. Thanks. So I'm much. wondering, have you ever played that redemption song in India? Well, actually, that video was filmed uh, in our place in Mumbai, okay. but I've never played it on a stage before. I'm I, wondering if they do they know Bob Marley in India? They do, yeah. in fact. Actually, uh, Bob Marley is well known in India. Uh, more so than reggae. So I, I had these interesting yeah. conversations. Hey, do, do you like reggae music? And everyone's like, no, no. And, I'm, and then someone will walk by wearing a Bob Marley cap. And I say, hey, that's Bob hey. Marley. Oh, we love Bob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> His superstardom has uh, well, surpassed the genre. International, even. for sure. Yeah. Um, I was in Ghana in 2000 uh, um, for a month and was very surprised to find out from talking to people that nobody heard of the Beatles. Oh, wow. <laughs> but they all knew Bob Marley. All, yeah, he, <laughs> I feel like his message and his uh, how he was in the world yeah. just resonates with people so far and wide. It's really true. He's yeah. a true visionary songwriter, one of my favorites as well. Yeah. So um, you recently got signed to a record label. That's right. Which is helping you promote your music to the film industry in India. Want to say totally. a little about that? Yeah, um, so I was signed to Better Way Records, mm -hmm. which is actually a, a syncing agency and record label out of Australia. Mm -hmm. And um, Australian markets and Indian markets are a little bit closer. Um, so they've been, uh, I've been working with them to uh, do some video syncs and just generally uh, get a little bit of promotion. Yeah. Um, particularly in Australia and New Zealand. Excellent. I'm, I'm enjoying a lot of uh, airplay on Good. Radio New Zealand, and uh, they've helped me a lot. And, yeah. Uh, so you do a lot of concerts in India now, too. That's right. And what's that like? I mean, you're, here you are, a white guy from the U.S., that's going over there, it. bringing the music. So what's that like when you perform in India for Indians? It's... Um, well, I'm really nervous at the beginning. And when I started, I was extremely nervous. Oh, yeah, I this, get it. <laughs> the music, this music is really, uh, takes a lot of practice to okay. be able to play in tune and everything. Yeah. But um, I receive uh, enormous encouragement from mm -hmm. audiences and musicians alike is when people see that I am really devoting my life to learning this uh, music in yeah. the traditional way, That's in right. the oral tradition, uh, from a teacher, and then... Uh, I want to present that music, uh, people get really excited and uh, they give me their blessings and I get invited to people's houses. Um, yeah, yeah. There's all Have kinds dinner, of- Have you know, yeah, dinner, exactly. yeah, yeah. dinner, Yeah, exactly, yeah. Dinner, tea. I'm yeah. on, I got, I've gotten on numerous uh, local television channels Beautiful. where um, I can't understand the language, no. you know, and then they go to interview me and I, I speak a little bit in English, and then they cut back to the regional language, right, whether right. Uh, yeah, it's there Gujarati or Hindi, so India. many languages. That's right. A lot of people here don't realize that. And I, I do speak uh, some Hindi, Torah Hindi Ati, mm -hmm. but um, not. I'm working on my interview still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. So you also are working with a master Sarod player That's right. in India. So tell me about your teacher. That's right. Yeah, my uh, teacher currently is Pundit Alok Lahiri. And he uh, is yeah a master Sarod player. Sarod, for folks who aren't familiar at home, is uh, a lute instrument mm -hmm. with a skin head uh, over the body and a steel neck. Right. And it's played with sliding your fingers or nails. Mm -hmm. So pretty similar to my instrument. Um, I was really lucky to meet uh, Guruji two years ago. And uh, with his guidance, he's really helping me to get onto the, uh, the classical stages and get to work with some very renowned artists there. Mm. As, uh, the tradition is called Guru Shisha Parampara, meaning uh, student disciple uh, mm -hmm. tradition. So when uh, your guru is really your uh, credential mm. for performing at a, at a big festival yeah, and, and yeah. things like that. Yeah, great. Now, we're gonna, our next video mm. is going to show an original composition of yours called The Peacock. Do you want to set this up for our audience? Sure, yeah. The Peacock uh, yeah, uh, song that I composed, the, the story behind the name is that I had this melody going through my head. It, this a melody inspired by uh, Bengali folk music, uh, the m music of Satyajit Ray's movies and, mm. and things like this. Um, but I have the melody going through my head. I'm driving home on a Vermont country road, and uh, all of a sudden there's a peacock 
hmm? in the road right in front of me. And uh, folks may not know, but peacocks are not really endemic to our no, region as native. far. Yeah. This probably belongs to my friend Kermit, but anyway. Yeah, no, that's highly, <laughs> as I perform this song locally, yeah. uh, people are like, hey, I think I know who's peacock, <laughs> you know, and there's a lot of candidates. Right. But so I'm driving behind the peacock and he doesn't know to go left or right from the car and as i'm driving behind him he just unfurls nice. his tail and wow. I, I have this melody going through my head Beautiful. so i say this is the peacock all right let's go and watch this video yeah. right now Really sweet. I Thank love you Very so beautiful. much. Beautifully done. Um, now, um, the Indian slide guitar hmm. is not the most common instrument in India, where they have many, many instruments. True. But you were telling me about the origin that it was brought to India or developed through a Hawaiian guy. That's right. Well, of course, the Hawaiian Hawaiians have a very long tradition of slide guitar. So tell That's us right. about that origin of yeah, so around uh, 1930s, 1940s, a Hawaiian musician uh, by the name of Tao Moy uh, got a residency at a Calcutta Taj Hotel mm. where he was playing every night uh, for in entertainment the in the lobby. Yeah, yeah. and at that yeah. time, yeah, uh, yeah. steel guitar Hawaiian music had really taken the world by storm. It was really popular. Uh, was it Elvis Presley movies or something? No, that's early. Before. Yeah, a little bit before <laughs> that. Um, but uh, the uh, Tao Moy took on Indian students mm. who then started to run with it. First, mm. it was used to copy Bollywood film songs. Okay. As, so you would bring well, this instrument home and you can kind of sound out how sure. the song goes. And then there were a number of artists, uh, Pandit Bridge Bhushan Cabra being one of them, who uh, modify the Hawaiian steel guitar to be able to play the classical music. Nice. And that means um, increasing the sustain of the instrument, yeah. um, adding the side strings, the drone strings called chikari, right. that are used as punctuation. Mm. And then, um, of course, Pandit Vishwa Mohan Bhatt um, redesigned the guitar entirely really? as an Indian instrument. Mm. And uh, Pandan Barun Paul also was a, an early innovator. And now 
It's still not a very popular instrument, you're right, but you see a lot of incarnations of this instrument mm -hmm. around India. All different shapes, all different names. It's sometimes called Mohan Veena, mm -hmm. uh, Hansa Veena, Shankar Guitar, mm -hmm. Siddha Veena. And so I'm just going Hence with... Joel Veena. Yeah, yeah. Well, Joel Veena is my... I've, I've changed my name yeah. to Joel Veena, and I'll, we'll just leave the instrument as Indian slide guitar. Okay, yeah, that yeah. That way, I, I'm not, I don't want to confuse anyone. Well, there you go. So it, much, it's clear, yeah. It's clear that way. Exactly. Um, we're going to go to the next video, which is a classical piece that you're doing, uh, Sacred Groves. That's right. It. Let's just go right to the video. Sure. And Fantastic. Thank That's you. really great. Um, you were telling me that you're, when you go to India, mm. you're going into schools and you're playing for the kids That's and right. you're getting great response, basically, you know, teaching them about their own music and promoting it. What's happening with that? Yeah, that's a, it's an interesting role I get to be in that I really enjoy is that, uh, uh, teachers, administrators, they uh, hear about me playing this music or they have some connection. They say you should come in and present about classical Indian music to mm. our students, mm. which I uh, initially felt pretty self-conscious about being a foreigner. Sure. Um, but I have learned in the traditional way. And what I'm finding is that kids are really excited to see a foreigner who has spent so much time and energy and they they like the instrument. It's an exciting instrument to yeah, yeah. to watch and everything. Sure. And they say, "Wow, this is so cool. This right. is this is our culture." And we they get excited again about their their own culture. And I just I could never have imagined that I would be in that role. And that's really exciting. I enjoy that a lot. It's really fantastic that yeah. you're doing that and getting that response. So, Joel Fina, I just want to thank you so much thank you, for Derek. coming on the World Fusion Show today, thank sharing you. your beautiful instrument and your philosophy and sensibility, you know, and this deep study that you're doing thank with you. that. And now we're actually going to go to the part of the show where we do some live right. in the studio playing together. Awesome. We're going to be joined by our friend Jed Bloom. That's right. Who has been a featured guest on the World Fusion show. He is going to be playing handpan. That's right. And um, Jed is wonderful. He has his own episode. Please check out Jed's episode. That's right. Number 15, if mm. you get a chance. Yeah. And hey, this is Derek Jordan. 
Thank you for joining us today on the World Fusion Show. We also have a podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud, many other platforms. So please check that out. Share and spread World Fusion far and wide with your friends. And I just want to say, as we always do, remember, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music. Thank you.